All right, so we're going to take a quick look at the list language construct in PHP and how it can be useful and save you a little bit of time and just make sure your code is that little bit cleaner. So we're going to create a function just inside of this file here and we're going to call this something like get user. So something you might see somewhere in an application. Now, if this uh, function returns an array with items in, it obviously doesn't have to be a user. But let's just suppose we get back a name here or a username. We get back an email. And let's say we get back something completely different. So something like a date time object with a date just in here. OK, so what we would normally do is if we wanted to access, say, the first element, we'd obviously use an array accessor and we would do something like the following. So we could say get user zero. And obviously if we echo this out, we would get something like the following. So we would get the username and then we would see a key one, the email and so on and so forth. But if you want to name these items, it becomes a little bit more confusing. So for example, we could say something like username is or we could just say user is get user we could say something like username equals user zero and duplicate that down do the same for email etc etc again a little bit messy so what we're going to be looking at then is the list language construct so it's not necessarily called a function but it does look like a function and what this allows you to do is assign this to a particular, uh, well, any array really. In this case, the array is being returned by get user. So what do we do with this then? It does look a little bit strange. Well, inside of the uh, list uh, language construct or function, I'll just refer to it as, we can actually name uh, the variables that we expect to get back from this. So for example, we know at the first key here, we get back a username. We know at the second key we get back an email and we know at the third key we get back a date of birth. So in this case now, what I've actually done is I've named each of the items that are contained within this array. So now all I need to do is go ahead and just echo that out and we get the following result. So it's really, really easy to work with, uh, particularly when you're working with something like date time, you could go ahead and call the format function on this and grab the day, for example, like so. So really, really straightforward to work with. It does tidy your code up a little bit and it actually makes it a lot more readable. So it's a little bit nicer to work with. So that's a very basic look at the list language construct and how it might be useful.